Hello everyone, it's Sharon from Sharon at Sea Travel and we are on the NCL Prima, the Norwegian Prima this week and I'm going to take you on a cabin tour of cabin 16180. It's a, a family balcony cabin. Usually cabin tours look all pretty, everything's empty, they're not lived in yet so of course, everything looks wonderful. Well, I'm not saying this doesn't look wonderful, but we are gonna take you on a tour of a lived-in cabin, and we have four of us sharing a cabin. Now, one thing I will say is these rooms are on the Prima. They're for four people, but, you know, four people, I don't know how well they will fit in here, especially if they're more adult size um, people. But I'm gonna let you know as we go. Let's come on in here, and we will come this way. We're gonna start this way and backtrack a little bit to the closets. So when you come in, first up, you have your counter space right here with your phone. You also have the switch over here, which uh, turns on and off the light around your mirror. As you can see, we have all of our stuff laid out here. So it's a little messy right now. I will say this is the last night we're getting off the ship in the morning. So we do have a lot of clutter here, but you know, if you have four people in a cabin, you are gonna have some clutter. And this is the only counter space you do have uh, for um, storing things, setting things down. You have two little shelves up here on the wall and you have a drawer here. There's also a mini fridge down here, which we just, it's empty. We just have some waters in here, a couple milks. There's this nice little stool here, which um, is nice for sitting here. If you want to use this as a makeup mirror to get ready and the hair dryers under here as well. So let's go over here a little bit and kind of backtrack and check out the closet situation. So we have three areas for the closet. The first two have a door with a full length mirror. This one, there's space to hang things. It only comes to here though, I will say. So if you have longer dresses, this uh, closet here on this side probably isn't gonna be the best option, but it's great for hanging shirts. You have your in-room safe here. There's a little spot here for things. And then you have these pull-out drawers. Now you can use these for maybe shoes or you can put your clothes in here. We've just set our packing cubes in these and there's two drawers here. There's gonna be two in this other one. So each one of us has a drawer and then we have two people sharing each closet. So let's move on to the next closet. These drawers are a little hard to maneuver, but it is a new ship. So let's go on this side. Same setup, but you do have a little more length here for your clothing. Now, if you look way back here, let me show you. There is one of these fold down shelves. But then if you do fold it down, you only have up to here for hanging dresses. So we put it up. We chose to leave it up so we can hang some dresses up there. Um, like I said, it is a little messy, a little lived in right now. But once again, we have two more of these drawers. Then over here, you have another, I guess, kind of like a closet space, but it does not have a, a drawer, a door. So you have a, a shelf up here, which is nice to store some things. We have a backpack up there and some jeans. So we chose to store our waters here that we had pre-purchased. They also brought us a couple robes and I will tell you, look at this, it is fuzzy. These are the most comfortable robes I have ever had on a cruise ship, they really are. So, um, so you can hang some more things here. We chose to put our laundry basket up here. And as you can see, it's the end of the week, but, okay. um, and down here, this whole area, we just shared this whole area for all of our shoes. Now over here on the wall, you have a little gadget here where, so you can use this and move that up to go warmer, to go back down to colder, uh, here you can push it here if you want your room made up. So if you're leaving your room, you want your room steward to come make up your room, you would push this. And if you want the do not disturb sign, you would push here. So that controls everything. Um, here's your light switch Ooh, for the cabin. Let's get this light back on. <laughs> okay. And you do need to keep a card in there and that will keep your light on as well. So let's head into the bathroom and then we'll show you the rest of the cabin. So we have, um, let's see, I'll come in here so you can kind of get a feel for the size. We have a very nice large sink here. I will say this is probably my favorite part is the bathroom for this cabin. It's quite large, a nice counter space here. 
we didn't even, we just set our packing, our packing cube. We just set our toiletry bag right here. We didn't even take everything out because it was just convenient to have it there. But you do have some shelves here for things. You also have a couple other shelves down here you can use. Your toilet and your shower. And let me see if I can kind of open this up if you're able to see it. Actually, I'm going to walk in so you can kind of get a feel how large it is. This shower is probably one of the biggest showers I've ever been on, on a cruise ship as well. I mean, lots of space, right? You have a nice um, shower head up here that you can take down if you want or up there. You, it does, let's see, you have your body wash and your shampoo in here as well. And a nice little bar down here if you want to shave your legs kind of lift your leg up a little bit. So there you go. It's a, uh, you know, quite large for a cruise ship bathroom. Now let's head out here to the rest of the cabin. Okay, starting off here, we have four hooks, which is very nice. It was kind of perfect for us because there's four of us, but you can use these to hook, you know, hoodies, jackets, backpacks, hats, all that good stuff. Um, the walls are magnetic, so we um, hung up some of the activity schedules and our group cruise. We're on a group cruise right now, so we hung our little schedule up and with some magnets. We have this sofa bed here. It is a full-size um, bed that comes out. You can pull it out, and it pulls out this way. So it's going to pull out here and come to about here. So they have been coming in at night and they pull it out for us. And then in the morning when we leave the room, they do put it back so we have space during the day. But, you know, it is a little bit of a tight fit, you know, going this way. And one thing, besides the beds, you have that. So if you have children that don't want to share a bed, then maybe the adults have to share the couch bed and you have to break the other beds into twin beds for the kids. It's totally up to you how you do it with your family. That's how we chose to do it this cruise. Over here, we have a little nightstand, and there's two drawers here, and we have the lamp here, which has two USBs on one on each side here. That's one thing. Um, there's a lot of USB cords, uh, USB cords, a lot of USB outlets in the room, and there's also one outlet here, one regular outlet. There's a light switch right here to turn the lights on and off back there. And speaking of outlets, let's move on over to here. I forgot to mention there is an American outlet right here, a USB, and a European plug outlet here as well. So plenty, plenty of outlets in this room. That is one thing they've done right on this. So now here are the beds. You can have this made into one king or um, two, two twins. So we chose the two twins. They do set up. So as you can see, our luggage is under the bed. They do set up quite high, which is very nice. I was a little concerned with that before we came about the luggage fitting, but it actually fits very nicely under there. Over here, we have another lamp between the beds, another little nightstand, but this is just a shelf down here. Two more USB outlets and a little lamp. And over here is our balcony light. So it is over here. I'm gonna take you out to the balcony because it is night, but I think we'll be able to see a little bit out there. And a nice big screen TV right here as well. And the TV is fully interactive where you can book your dining, excursions, activities on board, and things like that. So that's quite nice. Now let's go out to the balcony. And the balcony is larger than the balconies on the Breakaway and Breakaway Plus class ships. Um, it's a little, it looks a little longer, I believe, but where I really notice it is the width this way. Uh, when you sit on the other ships, you know, you're pretty close to this, but it's wide and roomy. And these chairs are so comfortable. They are the most comfortable chairs I've ever had on the balcony as well. And they adjust back here. So there you go. That's our little tour of our balcony cabin. It is a family balcony on the Norwegian Prima. Like I said, they're really set up a lot better for two or three guests in the cabin, but hey, four can make it work. We did, and we've been quite comfortable in this cabin. So there you go. That was our little cabin tour of our family balcony cabin with four people sharing the cabin. And 
you know, hope you enjoyed the tour. Be sure to subscribe to our channel. If you're not subscribed already, we have a lot more Norwegian Prima content coming your way. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the gangway.